Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to uh, give you a quick tutorial about how to um, mask this green in a, in a t-shirt out when you're shooting on a green screen in Final Cut. So the first, the very first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to duplicate your uh, video file. So you're going to Command C and you're just going to paste it right on top. So everything comes over just fine. Now, if we disable that top layer and we come over to the keyer and we drag that to the bottom one, it's going to take, like you see, it's going to take everything out, including that green in this shirt. So we're going to disable that for right now. We're going to re-enable that top layer and we're going to come over to the masks. We're going to take a draw mask and we're going to drag that over the top there. Now here's, I'm going to zoom in on the timeline just a little bit. Um, here's the thing with draw masks, you can never have too many control points. So we're going to zoom in and the only part of her shirt that we want to keep is just this green in the word love. So we're going to create some points. and we're going to close the mask. Now, if we come over, if we come back to the timeline and we disable the bottom clip, we see that that shirt is the only thing that is in that top layer, so we will re-enable the bottom clip. Now, if we turn the keyer on on the bottom layer, we see that there's still green in her shirt. And she does move a little bit in this clip. I would. This is from an old project, and I went through and did a lot better job. But this is just to kind of show you how to do that. Um, let's see, right there, you see she dips down and it comes out. Okay, so if we wanted to take that, to keyframe that uh, mask to where you see she steps out, and then the background. It gets dark again. We can keyframe that. We come to just a point where before she moves. Let's see about right. We'll say right here. We're going to select that. We're going to come over to the transform section in the mask. And we're going to keyframe it. We're just going to use the right arrow to go frame by frame. And if we just move this just a little bit, Final Cut will recognize the keyframe and put another one there. Say You see the frame, the mask move there just a little bit to keep that mask where it's supposed to be while she's moving. So that is a kind of crude and simple way to do that. Um, and then once you're done, if you want, you can highlight both of these, create a new compound clip. That just makes everything that compresses those uh, clips there. So you just have one file in your timeline. Or if you don't want to, you can undo it and work with two there. But that is a quick way to mask and keyframe uh, somebody's clothes if you're recording in front of a green screen. Thanks, and I will see you later.